The state and the group that runs Circus World are at odds over the future of the decades old museum. The 19th Theo Keith just back from a meeting up in Baraboo where the two sides are locked in. Theo? Eric, one side signaled that with a vote. Circus World's board voting today 17 to 2 to fight a government takeover. It's a takeover Governor Walker has put in his budget and one that the State Historical Society supports. We as a group are so insulted. Circus World's operators asked about 80 community members at a town hall meeting Thursday to support them in their effort to fight a takeover. Here's the background. The State Historical Society already owns the museum, but an independent group of donors has operated it for 54 years. They want to keep it that way. Circus World's directors say a state takeover would bring in bureaucracy and leave the donors as outcasts. Why would you just discard them as if, you know, they're of no use anymore when they can very successfully uh, do the fundraising as they have uh, shown uh, with the, uh, the resources that we have had. The directors admit the museum will struggle to pay its bills in 2014. They and the Historical Society agree on one thing. Circus World needs more state money to keep going. The governor is promising more money in his budget, but it comes along with the government takeover. The Historical Society's director agrees with that, saying his agency can run the place better. It might be most efficient to use an existing state agency that's accountable, that runs 11 other sites around the state, uh, whose business it is to uh, market, uh, to organize staff, uh, to present programs, and to engage people. State Representative Fred Clark, a Sauk City Democrat, says he likes the idea of more money for Circus World, but opposes the takeover plan. Clark is also calling for a state audit of Circus World's operations. The issue is part in the state budget, which is currently in the legislature's hands here. All right, Theo Keith reporting. Theo, thanks. Yeah.